Today we will see section of solids. This topic generally comes for 12 to 15 marks. For section of solids, we assume one cutting plane, which is an imaginary plane and transparent in nature. It will cut this solid, a regular solid, in such a way that the part nearer to the observer will be removed and the part away from the observer will be retained. This cutting plane generally we represent by a single line which is similar to a central line. Now please see here this is vertical plane and horizontal plane. If this cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP this we write it down as perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Then this particular cutting plane is called as an auxiliary inclined plane. It is represented by AIP. From front if we see, from the direction of observer if we see, we can see a single line. Similarly, if this cutting plane line is inclined to vertical plane, then it will make an angle phi and it can be called as this cutting plane is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Sometimes it is also called as auxiliary vertical plane. This representation of cutting plane is Similar to the axis line, big dash followed by the smaller dash, then big dash, small dash, and the extreme ends, which are the biggest dash, half of the bigger dash are thick in nature. This is the representation. In exam, most of the time, one mark is given, specially for representing proper cutting plane line. Now, when we pass this cutting plane through the pyramid or prism, Right, pyramid and prism have a surface. In pyramid you will get triangular surface, in prism you will get rectangular surface. If this cutting plane cuts any surface, it will create an edge. And if this cutting plane cuts any edge, it will create a corner. Please remember this point, it's very important. Similarly for cone and cylinder, cone and cylinder both are made up of a curvature. Cutting plane, if it cuts any generator, generally we always consider extreme generators, a curvature will be formed. And if this cutting plane cuts any base or surface, base surface, edge is formed. So remember this one point, second point and representation of center line, cutting plane line and the important notation AIP and AVP. Now in case of cone, we will just try to understand how this cutting plane line will affect and how the true shape of the section will look like. Consider this as a cone, only concentrate on this part and a front view of this cone is given here as a triangle. We are assuming phi as an angle of an extreme generator with respect to the base. We are assuming theta as an angle of cutting plane line. If this cutting plane line passes through a cone perfectly parallel to the horizontal plane, right, then this theta will be 0. This theta will be 0. And when we pass this through the cone, we will get a shape. After removing the upper part, we will get a shape which will be a circular one. If this cutting plane line is passed through one particular angle where this theta, theta of cutting plane line is less than the phi. Phi is your angle of generator, extreme generator. If it is less than phi, then it will cut both the circular, uh, this curvature, right? Both the extreme generators. If it cuts both the extreme generators, it will form curvature on this side as well as curvature on this side. So we'll get an ellipse. If 
we pass again a cutting plane line parallel to any one of the generators suppose this generator if we consider <coughs> sorry and this is cutting plane line is parallel to extreme generator where theta is equal to phi we will get parabola like this if it cuts see here it will cut one of the extreme generators it will create a curve a surface circular surface a curvature surface so here it is a curvature and if it is cutting a surface it will create an edge this is an edge so we will get a parabola in shape right and this part will be removed this particular part will be removed if this cutting plane line is having an inclination such that it is greater than this phi right if it is greater than this phi first we have seen perfectly parallel to horizontal plane then inclined to horizontal plane but making an angle which is lesser than phi then it is making an angle which is equal to phi and parallel to any one of the generator then it is making a parabola and now this angle is increasing it is increasing in such a way that it is greater than phi it is greater than phi then in that case if we get a hyperbola if at any given time cutting plane line cuts the base and passes through the apex we will always get triangle at any given time again i repeat if it cuts the base but it does not cut the extreme generator but passes through the apex then it will always give a triangle in projection of solids we have seen various position in stage number 1 when we are drawing the first stage of projection of solids we keep the position in such a way that the important part of the object is always kept on the right hand side if base edge is in hp we keep that base edge on the right hand side if corner is in hp we keep the corner on the right hand side so in up till now in projection of solids we had dealt with this two positions only for pentagonal pyramid whereas for hexagonal pyramid the same case again if base edge is in hp then we are taking that base edge on the right hand side if corner is in hp we are taking the corner on the right hand side so this becomes a very important part of the object which we are always keeping on the right hand side but in section of solids two more positions for pentagonal pyramid will come into the picture where they will say base edge is parallel to hp but at the same time away from xy so in that case base edge will be in hp and it will be parallel to hp and away from it away from the vp similar cases will be for this base edge it will be in hp parallel to vp but nearer to vp also right so please take care these two positions are for section of solid this is also for section of solid these two positions are for projection of solid projection of solid and also section of solid it will also come in section of solid so remember this part whereas in hexagonal pyramid projection of solid projection of solid as well as section of solid section of solid when we go for a prism sorry a cylinder or a cone we will always have a similar to that of projection of solid as the first stage okay so please take care while following a section of solid with this concepts remember now some important part first will be inclination perpendicular if the cutting plane line is perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp it can also be called as aip auxiliary inclined plane if it is perpendicular to hp and inclined to vp it can also be called as avp 
representation we had seen it is always a big dash small dash big dash small dash big dash small dash big dash extreme bigger dash are thick in nature on which we can show the direction of observer fourth point we have seen if we cut surface we will get edge if we cut edge we will get get corner then if we cut a circular surface i will say a circular surface we will get curvature here i will try to mention p for plane surface and it is similar plane surface will get edge for cone and cylinder also seventh we have seen about position of base in projection of solids and section of solids so please keep all these things into the mind in next lecture we'll see few problems thank you